So I keep saying space, right? What is a space? Yes, that is capital S space. It's a specific term used on Confluence. A space on Confluence means a self-contained area for a specific project or part of a project. It has its own internal links and all pages within that space must be uniquely named. So in Quality Student Doc space, all the pages have to have their own name. You can't have Quality Student Documentation Home three times. That's how the unique identifier that the wiki uses to um, label pages. So if you're confused about where you are on Confluence, you want a good roadmap for the student pages, let me pull this up for you. There's this page, Quality Student Wiki Resources. It talks about the important pieces of the puzzle here. So I'll include that link on the video. So where are these spaces for Quality Student and what do they all mean? Let's go back to the dashboard. It's a good place to start as any. You can also reach the spaces through the Spaces button or the space directory. You can see I favorited three spaces. You favorite something by clicking on the star next to the name. The Quali Foundation space, the Quali Student space, and the Quali Student Documentation space. So first, the Quali Foundation space is maintained by the guys over at help at quali.org. It's filled with important Quali-wide information, especially regarding the tool set. So here. Many of the tools in my tools walkthrough reference their documentation, so they have some pretty good stuff about the apps and Google and KISS, Jira, Confluence, but they also have some of the more complex tools like FishEye, Subversion, Maven, that kind of thing. So that's a good one to know. The second space to know is, of course, our student doc space. Um, this is our public-facing and publicly accessible space. This is where we keep software documentation for release software, so things like CM and our founder's release of ENR. It's ready for public consumption, not a sandbox, okay? It's also where we keep our community homepage right here. It gives you a portal to all of our community documents. You might also recognize this is where we keep our training materials. <laughs> you should be pretty familiar with those pages by now. And then, of course, Finally, our student space, not student doc, student, is where we keep the majority of our project resources on the wiki. It's where you'll find team pages, module pages, workshop event information, that kind of thing. This is where those sandboxes are located for the documentation. It might take you a while to dive into the full depth and breadth of the space, but your buddy's there to help you take hold of it. We've also developed a few scavenger hunts to help you get familiar with these spaces, especially if you're on the analysis side of things. Um, but, you know, especially important, make sure you can find your team page on the wiki. Again, if you're, you're having trouble, your buddy should be able to show you where to go. Um, you know, if you're on the black team, for example, it's right here. Um, there's also some old spaces in Confluence. Um, it's what's called the archive spaces. This material is not up to date and some of it is <laughs> downright old. However, several of the BAs and SMEs on the project have been known to sift through these old documents to find some of the original specs from the olden days. Um, so if your buddy suggests you go look through the old melanges, this is where you'll find them. It's not for the faint of heart. There would be dragons here. Um, but hopefully that gives you a good place to start with the wiki. As always with our tools, if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact an admin like me. Um, or, you know, me, of course, your buddy's always there for you. Um, yeah, so that's, that's basically the, the intro to Confluence. Thanks for watching and good luck.